This video is going to look at the advantages that we can obtain from the Mokito BDD library that is available as standard within the Mokito package. First we're going to discuss what behaviour driven development is and then we're going to apply Mokito BDD into our application. So firstly, what is BDD? It stands for Behavior Driven Development and it's an agile software development process that essentially encourages the collaboration and also the communication between developers and the various stakeholders that you have towards the application. So your different stakeholders could be your testers from the QA team, it could be uh, the customer representatives, and it can also be the business analysts. There are many different types of stakeholders that an application might have, but ultimately BDD supports the stakeholders of the application to understand the expected behaviors of the application from the developer's perspective. So we approach BDD in a fairly structured manner, and this is very similar to how we like to structure our unit tests. So for example, we have given, when, and then finally, then. So the outcome of discussions or meetings that follow the behavior driven development kind of approach would result in well-defined and structured outcome. So from a developer's perspective, they would understand the exact situation that they would need to mock or to replicate, and that would be defined within the given statement. They would then understand what act is going to be invoked upon the application, which is defined within the when sort of phase. And then finally, they would understand what is the expected behavior from the application, which would be expressed within the then section of our test. Now, Mokito BDD provides us with some handy little methods that support the behavior driven development discussions that we have. So as we'll see, rather than having the when and also the verify methods, for example, we would have, we would have slightly more readable and more transferable language to use within our tests that correlate back towards the behavior driven development structure of our discussions. So to begin exploring the BDD Mokito library, I'm just going to add the import into my test class at the top. So that'll be import static org Mokito, and then it's BDD Mokito star. And this library comes from the standard Mojito package. So if I head over to my pom.xml file, we can see the dependency added here. And now I'm just going to copy over this test so we can rewrite it using Mojito BDD. So the first bit of refactoring I'm going to do is within this given block. So the given block is about setting up the test or setting up the environment. And it can be a little bit confusing because we are specifying the exact behavior of our trains barrier spy when this passenger is eligible method is called. But the actual language you're using is a little bit confusing because we're specifying when something happens. So you might actually think that this when line belongs within this when block or in terms of following the logic of the test. So using Mokito BDD, we're actually able to change this written language using the given keyword. The first argument we pass in will be the object that we're operating upon, followed by the method call. So as we can see on line 39 just below, its passenger is eligible. We'll pass in the passenger ID name. And then if we go to the end of that line, we can extend it by pressing dot. So we can see some of the methods that we can call after the given keyword. So we have will return, will answer, or will throw. And these will help you to encapsulate the behavior of this given method. So we'll have will return, and we expect it to be true. So this is the first update I'm making using Mokito BDD. And ultimately what we've done is transform this line when trains barrier spy, passenger is eligible, passenger ID dot then return true to given trains barrier spy, passengers eligible, passenger ID will return true. So that slightly improved the readability and it also follows this given structure that we have from the top block. We then have the invocation of the method, which is the when phase of our test. And we're not going to change anything here. So train barrier spy, passenger entry, passes in the passenger ID as an argument. 
And then at the end, what we want to do is verify that the email service mock has called the notify passenger method, is passing in the passenger ID. And we, all, and we want to assert that within our train barrier spy, the get passengers on board contains the passenger ID. So the second piece of refactoring which we can do is actually to this verify statement. So rather than saying verify email service mock, notify passenger, passenger ID, we can say then, then we pass in the object to which we are verifying the behavior of, so email service mock. If we go down the line, we have the should method call, which will allow us to verify against the behaviors of our email service mock. And then we have the actual method call that is being passed in, which is notify passenger and passenger ID. So ultimately we've changed this verify line from verify email service mock notify passenger to then email service mock should notify passenger. And you might also find this a little bit more appropriate following the given when then phase, because now we're using given at the top and we're using then at the bottom. We also improve the readability because then email service mock should notify passenger reads slightly better than verify email service mock notify passenger. So that summarizes this introductory video on Mokito BDD. I would also encourage you to take a look at the never method call that can be passed in when we use the should word when verifying the application behavior. So if I were to pass in never, I would expect the notify passenger method call to never actually be called. And also the other flavor of will return from the given statement with Mokito BDD. So we also have will throw and how this can be used to test your application behavior for when we expect an exception to be thrown from a method call. I'll leave a link to the documentation of Mokito BDD within the description, as well as the GitHub link for the source code used within this video.